my name is Serena and this is Giovanna. We're going to unbox Love Every the Thinker. We tend to do these a tiny bit late because she was premature. Um, so she is 13 months and we're doing the 11 to 12 month box, which is kind of where she's at developmentally. <laughs> yeah, and she loves the scissors. So far, she loves the scissors. She loves the box. Uh, we're not so sure about the contents yet. Can you open? Open. <gasps> Good job! This is the first one she's opening herself. <gasps> is it a baby doll? <gasps> I wanted her to have this doll because when I was born, I was given this doll. And now she, she has her own. I mean, she has, she has both of them, but she has one new one. Yay! Okay, so not so much of the baby doll, but she's really interested in this, what appears to be a coin machine. And these are the little pegs for her coin sorter, or whatever it's called, wooden peg drop. It looks like a cash register or a coin sorter for, to me, but it's a peg drop. What do you think? Ready? Hey, do we want to push? <gasps> Where'd they go? I really hope that these are kind of tooth proof and waterproof because she tends to chew the paint off of all of her toys and anything in the house. And she's really into balls right now. So she picked this up out of the box while we were looking for my old doll. Um, not incredibly interested, but I know that she probably will love this because she loves all balls. Ooh, what's that? Okay, she also pulled this out, notes to my child. I was looking at a Kate Spade baby book and I was like, oh, I should really buy this. I do have one that I've started, but this is really, um, actually really nice and kind of similar to parts of the Kate Spade because you put memories into the envelopes so that she can read them later. I think these are just really cool and hopefully we actually do them. She's also really into books right now. I think that she just likes eating them, but also opening the pages and see how they work mechanically. She likes the pictures a little bit and she loves when we make sounds that correspond to whatever the photos are. So I think that she may like that. I mean, she likes all books. What is this? This is an organic cotton sensory pouch. <gasps> More balls! <laughs> Do you want to show daddy? She's been into taking things out for a long time, but she's get, just getting into putting things in. And this morning she actually put the balls into that other Love Every toy for the first time. Um, and so this may be something she's interested in, although it's a little more complicated. There's a hole to drop things in and then there's a divider. Can you see the divider? Um, and so if you move it, it won't fall over. So I, I feel like this is gonna take her a little while to, to figure out. Do you wanna put the ball in the hole? This felt ball is actually the ball that is supposed to correspond to this box. So you push it in. <gasps> Where did the ball go? Where did it go? Move it over. Where did it go? There it is. And she found the ball all almost by herself. Yay! Organic cotton baby doll. These balls that Giovanna is holding are called opposite balls. Okay, we have a few more. Pincer puzzle. Um, this is kind of similar to the other puzzle that we had that was just a single wood block with a picture of a baby on the bottom and then a silicone top that she loves to chew on. Oh, and it's a little bit more difficult maybe. She didn't ever use the other puzzle as a puzzle. She just chews on the little hold, hand, the hand holding piece um, because it's silicone and she's teething. And she looks at the baby and smiles. So they don't go together in her world. I don't know if she will think of these two as corresponding to each other, but maybe it's a little bit more difficult because this is a three dimensional puzzle piece. What do you think? Too many, she has too many toys. We're trying the Montessori method here with the toys, but really she just likes dumping the toys out of her toy box better so far. Okay, so these are air filled. They're kind of squishy and they 
don't make a lot of noise. So she's probably not gonna like these as much so far because she likes things that make noise. Um, but kind of they're a different texture and she might like that. My thoughts are they're really cute. I love the little doll. I think that's really cute. Um, I hope that she likes it for many, many years. Um, I mean, there's there's no way you can go wrong with balls. She loves balls right now. She likes playing catch and likes making noise and likes all the different sizes. And she only has one other kind of um, air-filled ball like this, so that's nice. I think that she's getting the hang of putting things in. Um, this kind of occlusion is definitely going to take her a while to figure out, so I don't think this is something she's going to be very interested in right away uh, or in the next couple months. I mean, maybe in the next couple months, but probably not at least a month. Um, I Just judging from the fact that she hasn't gotten the egg drop, she didn't understand the puzzle, I, I don't think she's going to use this at all either. Um, she she's in physical therapy and she does a lot of toys that have balls or um, pieces that you put into slots or, or drops so i think that this may be something she starts to use a little bit faster than this um, i don't think that she's going to understand how to get all of the pegs to drop using this little slot for a while but um, probably sh i mean like this, it'll be interesting because it has one task that she can do now and one task she'll probably figure out later. She likes books, so I think that this is going to be something that um, we actually use. And and I don't, I don't really understand any of these little sensory things. She's had other, uh, you know, like a crinkly paper ones. She has used them a little bit, but they're really not something she's very interested in. So I, I doubt, honestly, that this will be something that she finds appealing, but we'll see. And that is, that's all of the pieces. So all in all, I'm, I mean, I'm happy that we got these. Does she use the Love Every toys more than standard toys that she gets from friends or relatives? No. No. She mostly likes the things that are colorful, have lots of different pieces, lots of moving parts, things that make noise, and a lot of those are like more complicated rattles that are not Love Every. She likes her little robot that she received for her birthday. She thinks that's fantastic. Um, so. And then she does like uh, some Montessori things where they're kind of ball drops, but they make a little bit more noise um, and they're not love every either. I think that these are good. They're uh, good for her to, you know, push her to do her own exploration rather than just be entertained by her toys. But um, I think that they're kind of complementary to her other more modern toys that we'll continue to use because she gets to decide what she wants. You know, we can push her to explore these Montessori toys, um, but ultimately we're, we're not going to be strict. Uh, I don't think it works for our lifestyle or our value system. So I think they're good, but they're, they're just a piece of her developmental or exploratory tools. Please like and subscribe. Giovanna, okay, say smash that like button. Smash that like button. <laughs> yeah.